Good morning, and welcome to Jams with Jesus on Saturday, August 27th. The gospel reading for today is from Matthew's Gospel, the 20th chapter, beginning at the 20th verse. Um, then the mother of the sons of Zebedee came to Jesus with her sons, and kneeling before him, she asked a favor of him. And he said to her, What do you want? She said to him, Declare that these two sons of mine will sit, one at your right hand and one at your left, in your kingdom. But Jesus answered, You do not know what you are asking. Are you able to drink the cup that I am about to drink? They said to him, We are able. He said to them, You will indeed, you will indeed drink my cup, but to sit at my right hand and at my left, this is not mine to grant but it is for those for whom it has been prepared by my father. When the ten heard it, they were angry with the two brothers, but Jesus called them to him and said, You know that the rulers of the Gentiles lord it over them, and their great ones are tyrants over them. It will not be so among you, but whoever wishes to be great among you must be your servant, and whoever wishes to be first among you must be your slave. Just as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve, and to give his life a ransom for many. Every once in a while it strikes me as, um, you know, when, when I was younger, the, the Bible seemed to be so distant, so holy, so other. And then when you start knowing about human nature and living longer, you start to see echoes of behavior or things. And so I'm... I tend to read a lot of this in a, in a very down-to-earth way. So you got a mother and two sons, and a mother comes to appeal to their their rabbi to intercede on their behalf. And I'm thinking, okay, how old are James and John that their mother has done this? And it's one of the things you might say, well, they might have been late teenagers, early 20s, tops probably. Average life expectancy is not huge. Um, and then you think of the the just the confidence of the two boys. Yes, we can drink this cup that we have no idea what it, we're facing, but we'll say we can do it. Um, there's a certain degree of brashness, boldness, energy, uh, again, pointing to maybe in the late teens um, type dynamic. And then Jesus, again, astutely pointing out what was true then is true now among the Gentiles. Their great ones are tyrants over them, seldom looking after the most vulnerable or the least in society, but trying to gather up power and accolades and et cetera, et cetera. And Jesus is saying that's not the way of his um, being, that, that he came not to be served, but to serve. And therefore, we as followers, we as disciples, um, that's the path ahead of us as well. Again, just some interesting things, how much has not changed in 2,000 years, and yet um, literally the billions with a B who have chosen to follow Jesus, who have been called through the Holy Spirit, who have responded to that invitation, um, how the world has changed mightily because of because of that and so when luther was explaining um in his small catechism about the lord's prayer you know your kingdom come your will be done on earth as in heaven luther was humble enough to say god's kingdom is going to come anyway um through god's work and what we're really praying for is that we participate that we see these things going on and um, maybe I wouldn't phrase it as the right side of history, but certainly on the side that says from Jesus, you know, follow me and here's what it looks like. So let's pray. Good and gracious God, thank you for this new day. Thank you for a little bit of coolness in the air, a, a little bit of a nod that fall is not too, too, too far away, but um, we know the heat will return, but give you thanks for this respite this day. Um, help us to see those ministries that you've prepared beforehand, that you've called us to respond to, and to rejoice for those ministries that will be handled by others in your name. 
and then uh, just simply all of our neighbors who continue to try to reach out and love one another, that we may truly fashion a society that uh, offers abundant life for all. These things we ask and pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I got an update yesterday from COVID Act Now that uh, not only the state, but also Pickens County, Greenville County, I'm not sure about Oconee, have gone down from a high level of risk transmission down to medium level of risk. I'll still be wearing my mask just because I still go back to those um, those times that if I'm in an indoor space with a lot of people over an extended period of time, and I'm usually in the sanctuary, give or take, for two and a half, three hours on a Sunday morning as others are coming and going, um, that just gives me that little added sense of protection. Um, tomorrow will be our welcome back luncheon after the 11 o'clock service, so if you don't have plans or if you'd rather have these plans, that'll be a hot dog hamburger cookout with students, which will be wonderful. Services 9 and 11 a.m. and the 9 a.m. will be on Facebook Live. So God's peace be with you. Oh, thank you, Gene. Oak County is also at medium risk. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.